Throughout the Second World War, the Commonwealth Aircraft Corporation, CAC, was at the forefront of Australia's growing aviation industry. Through the six years of war, a series of various plane designs came off the design board, notable ones including the CAC Railway and the CAC Boomerang. Perhaps the most interesting and ingenious of all, though, was the CA-4 Wacket Bomber. In 1935, talks began around the prospect of Australia building aircraft. Further talks between the Australian government and Broken Hill Companies, Broken Hill Proprietary Company Limited and General Motors Holden Limited ensued throughout the next year and on 17th of October 1936, the Commonwealth Aircraft Corporation was born. ICI Electrolytic Zinc and Orient Navigation Company would later join the company. In 1939, the Australian government had decided to buy the Bristol Beaufort Bomber. The idea was that Australia would produce their own Beauforts. The Beaufort was a twin-engine torpedo bomber The first flew in October 1938. To compete with the Beaufort, CAC began design work on what would become known as the CA-4 Wackett Bomber. Designed by Wing Commander Lawrence Wackett, the low-wing monoplane was powered by two Pratt & Whitney twin wasps R-1830s and housed a crew of three personnel, pilot, bomber, navigator and a rear gunner. The CA-4 also incorporated an array of unconventional features such as sealed wings that allowed them to also act as fuel tanks, saving weight, and two 303 machine guns mounted in each engine nacelle and controlled by remote control and periscope from the rear cockpit. For offensive armament, the CA-4 carried four 303 caliber machine guns in the nose and could carry bombs and torpedoes. Interestingly, the design could also carry bombs underneath each engine nacelle as well as underneath the fuselage. The CA-4 bomber would act not only as a torpedo bomber, but also as a dive bomber. The Beaufort was not capable of dive bombing. To begin with, the Australian government showed little interest towards the project. However, by mid-1940, with the Battle of Britain raging on, England stopped supplying Australia with the British parts for the Beaufort program as they themselves needed every part they could produce. With a lack of Beauforts, the Australian government had to look elsewhere and thus awarded a £50,000 contract to CAC for development of the CA-4 Wacket Bomber in June of 1940. By the end of 1940, a mock-up had been completed and revealed. The CA-4 took to the air for the first time on the 19th of September 1941 with Flight Lieutenant Hubert Boss Walker at the controls. Testing showed that the plane was up to contemporary Allied designs and possessed a greater armament. However, the winged fuel tanks proved troublesome, with leaks commonplace. When compared to the Beaufort Mark 8, the CA-4 was superior in speed, armament and range. With Japan's entry into the war in December 1941, the Australian government became desperate for an attack plane. Thus, even before testing was finished, or without consulting the Royal Australian Air Force, in early 1942, an order was placed for 105 examples of the CA-4. Production w would begin in early 1943. On the 20th of April 1942, the RAAF received the prototype. Testing continued throughout 1942. During one flight to show the Prime Minister and major defence officials during November 1942, the prototype was forced to make a gears-up landing after the undercarriage failed to extend. Remarkably, the plane suffered no structural damage and only minor damage to the engines. Two days after the incident, the plane was flying again, a credit to the design of the plane. The cause of the crash was sabotage. Unfortunately, on the 16th of January 1943, the CA-4 prototype was lost in a fiery crash. On a routine test flight to assess power plant performance and evaluate a new fixed leading edge slat, the aircraft suffered a fuel leak in the port engine. The engine was shut down and propeller feathered. However, the activation of the feathering switch caused an explosion that led to an uncontrollable fire. Pilot Squadron Leader James Harper managed to escape. However, the other two passengers, Power Plant Group Engineer Lionel Duggan and CAC Test Pilot James Carter, were both killed when the aircraft crashed 4.8 kilometres southwest of Kilmore. The crash caused minor damage to an outbuilding of Mr. Tom Commons' property, and the Kilmore Bush Fire Brigade was, were called in to deal with a grass fire caused by the crash. The wreckage was recovered before being scrapped. The Wacker Bomber story does not end here though. The CA-4 turned into CA-11 Woomera with a completely new tail unit, lengthened canopy and a revised rear gun station. The engines were also upgraded to the R2000 twin wasp engines and armament in the front was upgraded to two 303 caliber machine guns and two 20mm cannons. 
The new plane was put through exhaustive trials with CAC before being handed over to the RAAF on the 22nd of November 1944. However, by now, the war was in favour of the Allies and American and British designs were available in quantity. There was no need for the CA-11 and thus the government reduced the original order of 105 to 20 before cancelling the project outright, replacing it with the P-51 Mustang. On January 16, 1946, approval was given to convert the CA-11 prototype to scraps. Throughout the whole CA-4 and CA-11 program, only two aircraft were ever built and flown. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment for more future content like this.